I think what's very exciting about these times and what's definitely a challenge in terms of being a creator is the fact that the audience has had an awakening. Uh, they now consider themselves to be media companies. Um, they can push button publish for the world to see. So in a lot of ways, the audience, or I should say those formerly known as the audience, are shifting away from a passive consumption into a creation uh, their own kind of creative ways of making things. And, and I think that that challenges uh, storytellers uh, to think more uh, collaboratively and to, to challenge them to make and build things that leave room for the audience to participate. The idea of making something immersive is, um, is interesting because it, it challenges you to think about how a story can be more pervasive because we have so many different screens and devices in our world. Now a story doesn't have to be confined to one format. In fact, it can, it can flow fluidly away from a screen in a movie theater out into the street and back and forth again. Um, so the challenge with making something immersive is finding those ways to bridge the story so it's more engaging for an audience and it fits into their their media consumption. It fits into the way that they're consuming the stories and, and it makes them more personal or it makes them, it helps them discover things that they didn't know existed. So I think the challenge which, with immersion, which is kind of a new form, I think, I mean, granted, it's been around in terms of theater and, and different forms forms of storytelling, but that idea of being able to combine the physical and the analog together and bridge them is something that's very challenging for filmmakers and storytellers. Uh, when I start uh, with wanting to tell a story, it's usually anchored around a theme. I, I work from themes out. What is it that I'm trying to say? And I really ask a lot of questions. Uh, we'll start with an exercise that we do that's called Five Times Why, where we'll kind of challenge ourselves over and over again. I have a writing partner, Chuck Wendig, and we'll sit back and forth uh, and we'll say, you know, why is why does this character do this the way they do? And we'll ask that like five times as a way to filter it down, just asking the same question over and over again. A lot of it is about questions and a lot of it is really kind of looking at how to mine those themes. But at the end, it really comes down to a very classic thing. It's, it's about the story that we want to tell. It's about the story that I have that's burning inside and, and it's the voice, you know, how do I want to tell that? And so for me, it's not necessarily necessarily uh, it doesn't sometimes it has technology involved other times it doesn't at all it's just really like what is what best suits that story those characters in that world and so for me um, the reason that I say building story world is I'm thinking about a story away from one basic you know, linear running time that you would have with a movie. And I'm thinking about all those in between and those beautiful moments that exist beyond the screen so uh, that's what I mean I think uh, in terms of definitions, you know, from my standpoint, one thing that I've always just basically done is just made work and the work kind of finds its way into an academic title. Uh, so uh, for me, whether it's transmedia or cross media, at the end of the day, it's really just storytelling. And all these things will just become natural as the infrastructure to tell these stories becomes more built out and, and the audience becomes more of a part of that interaction. You, it won't matter. It'll just be stories. It won't have to be transmedia or cross media. It won't need a definition. It'll be something that just resonates and people will understand it because they'll emotionally feel it. And that's where we are right now the grammar of everything is being shaped so it helps to have definitions but from my standpoint um, it's really just about storytelling or at least what I'm exploring in my work currently is that idea of bridging the physical and the digital just because something's digital doesn't mean that it can't be tactile so I'm really interested in that I'm also interested in the internet of things uh, by 2015 there'll be about 1.5 trillion sensors in the world so I'm really interested in how you can lay story and gain over the real world in general and how you can make use of uh, kind of inanimate objects and use them as storytelling devices. And then I think the last part uh, that I'm really excited about when I look forward is, is the use of data in a way that it can help people to discover stories, can help them connect with each other, um, and can be used in a way that has um, even research abilities. Like a lot of the work that I've done, things like Pandemic or what I'm doing with Like as Adventure, are looking at interesting interesting ways to harness data, not only as a storytelling mechanism, but also as a purposeful storytelling device, something that can fuel research into 
different areas or can help to provide insight into global issues.